So here's the blue one, all glued down and dried. And the blue ATCs, all glued down and dried. And for the blue paints, I chose another glow in the dark. And a uh, darker blue paint, Admiral Blue, it's called. Oop, squirt it out. Not much left in there, and there's really not much left in here. This might just pour out. I don't know how watery it is. Oh yeah, it's pretty watery. So that one, we need to use up pretty quickly. So here's my blue sponge, and I will... Uh, Grab up this really watery stuff. Oops, I moved it accidentally, but that's okay. So we'll put a little bit more up here. Since it is really light, faint, I should say. There's that. Nice. And then I have this like animal print looking um, stencil that I'm going to use. We'll use here. Let's get some of this off on here. And uh, we'll use the darker, the darker stencil. For this, I mean the darker color, not the darker stencil. Duh. And then we'll do a little bit more up here with the little bit lighter color. Uh, this color. I like this color. It looks nice. Even though a lot of the dark blue is showing instead. Oh yeah, this is the glow in the dark. That's right. So, oh, there. Okay, not too bad. And then how about now we'll just, again, get some of this off of here. Just stamp it in random spots. And then for the, um, for these, we'll go with the circles on here. And let's put a little bit more Actually, let's use the other side of the sponge so that way it doesn't get so much dark blue soaking through. There, yeah, that's better. Got a background on that one, and now let's get the uh, this background on here. We'll use the watery blue for this one. Just see what comes through. Okay. Nice. Okay, I like those. They're looking good. Done with the stencils. And now we'll just make some marks on it. I'm gonna try to get as much of this orange paint off up here as I can. There. And we'll make some circles. And 
and then we'll make some dark circles. Okay, there's that. And then how about we make some lines on there we'll just dip dip this blue paint in there and see what i can get up it's kind of gloopy so i don't know how well this is gonna turn out but we'll see oh it's not too bad yeah that looks that looks good and then we'll get some of this lighter stuff in there too just put this over here Okay, got that. And how about some bigger circles? Just kind of make them a little bit multicolored since I don't have much of any of the paint left. We'll just see what comes out. And then I think that will be it for this layer. Let's get something up here. There's not much up here. And something down here, and then a little bit over here, and then I think we're good. So, I'll come back for the next layer, mostly because I don't exactly know what I'm going to do for the next layer yet. So, there's it for now. It's starting to look, starting to look like something now. So, I'll be back when this dries and I come up with an idea for the next layer. So, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. All the paint is dry and I figured out what I want to do for this next layer. This is actually going to be the last layer and I'm going to add some washi tape, some blue washi tape and then obviously some orange washi tape. So we'll add a few strips of that. And I'm not going to worry about gluing it down yet because my next layer is um i'm actually going to mix up some some glue and i'm going to be adding glitter to it and i'm going to go over the whole thing so that way i'll glue everything down while hopefully having some of the glitter shine through it once it all dries. Uh, let's add one more strip of washi tape, a smaller, smaller strip. I uh, would we'll just put it right here. So there's that, and then I'll put a couple. I'll put some, a little bit on the uh, ATC cards. And I'm also going to use this puffy paint as a border. So that that's going to complete it. And then lastly, I will cut them up. And then I'll add my harder plasticky type embellishments. Such as these flowers. I have these flowers. And I have some googly eyes. I just have a couple different things that I want to add to them. So the blues are done. I'm going to tape the oranges and then I'm going to work on the glue part. So I'll get a little bit of washi tape on the orange. And for this orange, for the orange border, I'm going to use this glitter glue. Orange glitter glue. They had a whole bunch of different colors. I should have bought all of the different colors, but orange was the only color that I bought. Unfortunately, I should have bought them all. 
but that's okay. I haven't even used that glue yet, so I don't really know how it how it looks, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then we'll add this last piece of orange right there, and then I'll add some to the ATCs. And then I'll mix up the glue. I wanted to make sure everything was really dry before I decided to add glue to it, just in case, because I didn't want um, I didn't want any of the glue to spread. I mean, any of the uh, the the paint to spread. And also, after I glue it, I am going to add some orange and blue paint dots, and then that will be it. So let's um, mix up some glue. I don't really know how much I'm gonna need, probably not too much. So I'll just put a little bit in here to start off with. And I'm gonna add my glitters. So for the orange, I have this chunky glitter. I have this really fine glitter. And I have these um, like stars like sequins, confetti, whatever. So I'm gonna add some of them and we'll see how it, how it turns out. I guess I've never used this before because it's not open. So I'm gonna probably put a decent amount because I do wanna make sure that it shows up. So. There's that. I'll add this whole container of thin orange glitter because I have a whole bunch of orange glitter. Oh, it looked like there was a blue star in there. That's funny. And then I have another one of these orange stars as well, so I'm going to add all those in there. And mix it up. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Okay, I like that. So hopefully once this glue dries, it will, you'll still be able to see all of this chunky stuff and all the glitter that I'm adding. I might need a lot more glitter. I mean glue. So I'm gonna but I might not, I don't really know. That actually did cover a lot of, whoops, a lot of ground, so we'll see. And if I don't cover every single square inch, it'll be all right, but I do wanna get most of it covered. Oh yeah, there was. There's a blue star. Let me try to get that out. I don't want that on my on my orange paper. Actually, I think this will be enough. I don't think I'll have to mix up anymore. Just have to make sure that I get most of it covered and that there's not areas of any gloopiness going on. Hey, there's another blue star. So. have a little bit more left so we'll add it up here try to make this stay down a little bit better 
and put a little bit more down here as well and over here these um stars don't spread very well so a lot of them kind of got stuck on the bottom but that's all right nice i like that and then once it dries it will you'll be able to see all of the stuff better because obviously there's a thick layer of glue on here right now and it's kind of clouding everything oh yeah i forgot that I have the ATCs to do as well. So we'll add all of the paint or the glue to this one as well. And then the last of it We'll go on to this one. There's not too much left, so I'm gonna try to spread it out so that way at least it looks like it's covered, even if it really isn't all covered. But. There we go. So we have all that, and now I'm going to add some paint dots in various places. Apparently, that first part that came out was not the actual paint. Not sure what that was then. So there would be a couple uh, lighter orange dots and a couple of darker orange dots. And now I'm just going to go like this a little bit, just in case I got any glue on it. Okay, so the orange is almost done. Now all we have to do is add the border don't really know how well this is gonna dry or like like the glitter I don't know how well the glitter is gonna show up if it's gonna like flatten or anything but it'll be okay and obviously it's not gonna be perfect but it'll be, it'll still look nice. Okay, and then the bottom It got kind of clogged and a big chunk came out on the bottom. But that's all right. So I'm going to do the ATC cards now.
almost done. Okay, so the orange ones are finished for now until I, they dry and we'll get them cut up. And now it's time to do the blue ones. So I'm gonna get all these out of the way. Carefully. I can move these, I don't need the paints out anymore. So I'm gonna put this right there, right there, and then put this one right there. And then we can do the blue now. So I'm going to pause and then clean my paintbrush and then come back in a second.